Hello everyone, welcome back to this YouTube channel. I am Preeti. In this today's video tutorial, I am going to explain about how to get Office 365 or Microsoft 365 group members in Power Apps. To get Office 365 group members, Power Apps provides a useful connector that is called as Office 365 Groups that helps to connect your Power Apps application to Office 365 Groups directly. It enables your application to interact with Office 365 groups to facilitate collaboration and communication within your organization. That means if you want a particular Office 365 group information, then you can directly connect this Office 365 groups connector to your Power Apps application and get all the information from that Office 365 group. So let's begin how we can do this. For that, let me show you one demo that I have already created. This is my SharePoint site. First, I will show you all the Microsoft 365 groups. So for that, just click on this app launcher and then go to this admin. Now, left navigation, you can see teams and group. Just expand this one. And once you will click this active teams and groups, in the right side, you can see all the uh, teams and the Microsoft 365 groups that you have already created. So now I will just click on uh, one uh, group that I have created already in my this uh, in this SharePoint site. So this is Employee Management Team. Once you will click on it, you can see the general membership channels and settings. Just click on this membership, and uh, this is coming by default owners. You can see here the right side. These are the two owners. And once you will click on these members, you can see all the members that are present inside this Employee Management Team. Now I want. Uh, to get all these members information in power apps so here i have created one demo you can see here just i will preview this one so here uh, you can see the five members that uh, that is retrieved from a particular uh, microsoft 365 group that is called as employee management team and uh, the second one i have created uh, you can see here once i will preview this one i have a text input control once I will provide a um, like a group ID, you can see here, this is my group ID, this to this. So once I will click on it and once I will provide this group ID, I will create a, uh, I will click on this click create button. So now once you will click this create button, you can see all the uh, user information that is retrieved from the Microsoft 365 account. So so these are the Microsoft 365 group members of a particular group that is called as employee management team. Now, how we can achieve this? I will I will tell you step by step. So for that, I will create a new screen. First, I will show you this gallery thing and then I will tell you how you can achieve this second screen. So first of all, I have added a new screen and uh, then I will take a gallery control you can see here and once you will click on this gallery you can choose any type of gallery by according to your needs so i will first of all i will take vertical gallery so here the gallery comes and uh, as well as you can design your uh, application according to your needs now like i have uh, created a vertical gallery control i will put a border something one two and uh, then I will, uh, this one is a label control, I will just copy paste it and uh, so now what I will do, I will write a code in this gallery's item property. So items property what I will write. So before that, as I told you for all these things, I need a Office 365 groups connector. For that I, I will I will add a connector that is Office 365 groups that is already uh, I have added. Now I will click a add data. I will tell you exactly how you can add again. I mean, once you will add it, no need to uh, re-add again. So if you uh, if your application doesn't have this uh, connector, so how you can add it? You just go to this add data and then you just search here Office 365 groups. So once you will click on it, like uh, it will ask you that uh, credential, Microsoft 365 credential, you just provide it. Or as if you already uh, uh, sign in already in this application, so no need, uh, it will not ask again. So now go to the Gallery's items property and write a code like Office 365, 
office 365 uh, groups yes i have already connected office 365 dot list group members list group members means this this helps to get all the group member of a particular uh, group and then just uh, put bracket and then you need to provide the id so id i have shown you how you will get it you once you will click on this particular group and once you will come to this uh, this window you can see in the link after team details last you just copy paste from a to this two this is a particular group id of a microsoft 365 group so just to come to uh, here and you just uh, paste it that code so this and then just close bracket and then put value so now you can see you can get all these group members of a particular microsoft 365 group you just uh, increase the font size to 18 or whatever you need and then in the subtitle if you want to put any uh, of uh, any user information like this item you can see here in the right side you can display id you can display job title mail mobile phone office location etc so i want to put a job title so i will put like this so you can see here it is coming all the job details over here so ne the next thing how you can show the user profile photo of a particular member so uh, the tricky part is here like uh, the office 365 groups connector doesn't provide any uh, function for that to display of a particular user photo you so you can see here once i will click on this image uh, like uh, image control if i will put something like this item dot it won't display any of uh, uh, like profile photo uh, things Le like you can only display display name given name id but it, you cannot provide the user photo for that i will do a tricky way you just remind it so what i will do i will um, use office 365 users connector you can see here i have already added so if you didn't add it you just add like click on this add data and just search for office 365 users so here you can add it so once you will uh, add this connector just click on this image property and you need to write a code like office 365 users dot the second one you can see user photo v2 so then just uh, start the bracket and then you need to write this item dot either you need you can put mail or you can put dot id whatever you can put will give the profile photo of the particular member so i will put mail so you can see here now it will display all the user photo like uh, that is retrieving from the microsoft 365 group so this is one way we can get the microsoft 365 group members in power apps the second example i will show you like uh, how you can uh, like uh, get all the user uh, microsoft 365 group members and display in a data table and uh, like uh, here you will provide that id and once you click on this button that information will store in the data table so i will show you for this i will uh, take another screen and uh, I have created another screen and I will just copy paste this header and uh, then I will take insert a text input control where you will provide the uh, specific uh, Microsoft 365 group ID so just remove it the default function just make it blank and then I will uh, take a button control insert a button control and put it in uh, right side of it and uh, you just uh, rename this button control to something like uh, i have taken create so again i will take a create uh, thing only and then next i will add a data table control so you just insert a data table control just place under uh, this text input control and button control and then next i will create a collection in this uh, buttons on select property so i will write a code call uh, sorry for the creating a collection we will use clear collect function and then uh, start bracket you just need to provide a uh, collection name and then comma 
and then here you will write the code of his 365 groups dot uh, list group members and uh, for this just uh, put a starting bracket and then yes user will provide the group id in a text input button control so you need to provide that text input name that is my text input to dot then text then close bracket dot value so now and I, again i will put that uh, closing bracket so now whenever user will provide that group specific microsoft 365 group id in the text first control and once the, they will click on this create button the all the information uh, we will get from the microsoft 365 group and it will display in the data table control so let me try this one so before that let me um, make this font size a little bit bigger and um, i will just make uh, this header section semi bold and i will make it 20 or uh, yes 20 and then i will uh, put a border like one and then now i will go to the preview section i will put i will copy this id that specific group id and then i will put here and then once i will click on this create button you can see sorry i have forgot uh, i just forgot to uh, mention one uh, collection name in this items property that that's why it is not displaying so whatever you provide uh, the collection name you need to put that data tables items property that is call users so now just click on preview and uh, i have already provided this id just click on this create button see still it is not visible why we need to add the fields data tables fields so for that just go to this edit field click on this add field and here you can see all the information user information for that what you need to do you need to select what type of or what are the columns or what are the information of a particular user you want to see i will just select id display name job title mail and uh, just click on add you can see all the details over here this way we can get all the microsoft 365 group members of a particular group to get more information about this thing i have written a full article in spguides.com that is power of get office 365 group members that is post name you can visit to uh, this post that is fully uh, written by me and uh, like uh, you can see everything over here you can get various type of example from here so also i will put uh, this uh, article link in my description box below so if you really like this video kindly like share and subscribe to this our youtube channel thank you and have a nice day